Hey everyone, this is Wei and thanks for stopping by. So for this video, I'm going to be doing another portrait sketch and it's going to be of this girl here. So whenever you see a portrait like this, you know, the first thing you got to say to yourself is like, holy moly, she's pretty, right? So you got to get that out of your system. So just look at it, you know, and realize how pretty she is. And then now we got to get started on how we can, you know, draw a face like this. All right, so one of the ways um, to draw a portrait like this is to first kind of block out some, like define some really basic geometry around this. So let's say I'm just gonna draw the, uh, the eye level right here. I'm gonna do the slant, which is pretty important to get because that, um, that kind of dictates the, the overall tilt of your, of your face. So I'm gonna draw like a little bounding box. I'm just gonna go from here. This is gonna be the corner of the eye. And then I'm gonna come straight down I'm just gonna draw this kind of outline very rough, roughly. And again, this is all gonna just kind of be eyeballing. And you know, the more you do it, the more accurate you're gonna get. But this is a really good way to to uh, define your space. You know, so you know um, you you know, you know exactly how big your uh, drawing will be. Okay, so let's say this is. Um, right there at the corner of the eye and then this is the other corner right here where the hair hair meets up so from there I'm, I'm just gonna like block in some of the shape now when you look at this it's almost you can almost see like this eye size right here and the nose and the mouth they're really kind of um, the same size right it's, it's kind of kind of even overall so I'm gonna start with the eye I'm just gonna block this in right here now just judging from this distance to this distance right here, the eye would probably be like a third, third way through. So I'm gonna block that in. All right, so that would be, these would be the corner, corners of the eye. Okay, so then from there, the nose is like right around, like in between, you know, the middle somewhere, let's just say right around there. And then the lip is like in between you know, obviously the uh, the bottom of the nose to this is kind of right in the middle somewhere, slightly higher. So I'm just gonna block that in. So now I have like th these uh, these major points, right? Eye and the nose and, and the mouth. So all right, let's go in and let's draw in a little bit more detail so we can st start really sketching this. So I'm gonna start, start with the eye. I'm starting with the left eye. That way I can see what I'm drawing when I'm drawing the right side. Okay. So again, I mean, um, it doesn't have to be exact, I and mean, it's really hard to draw a face exactly, you know, without any kind of aid, without any kind of measuring. We're just kind of going by eye. So let's see the curvature. Now the nose. Um, th these are some ways where you can measure. So if the eyes right here, you can see if you draw like a vertical line, it kind of meets up with the the nose right there. So from here, the eye, if I go straight down, that should be your nose area. So that's about here, which is kind of correct, right? That's what we had in the beginning. So I'm gonna sketch in the nostril. I'm drawing the nose right here, it's got a little curvature. So once you have these uh, reference points, then you just kind of go in between, right? And fill in the gaps. Uh, okay, so let's go straight down. If I go straight down from the nose, it's gonna meet up with the, the little the lip right there. So let's draw that. And then if I go, let's see how far the lip goes down. And it goes up to the nose, so right around here. And then the other um, uh, tip of the mouth, edge of the mouth, goes straight up. Kind of meets up with the um, with the eye, the edge of the eye right here. So we're gonna go straight down. So it's gonna meet up somewhere right around there. So actually, what you know, what I sketched out earlier was fairly accurate. I mean. Close enough, you know, where you can where you can start. So now you can fill in the lips. Okay. So we have the lip there, and then let's move on to well, let's do the eye. So we got other eye right here. It's a really big, beautiful eyes. It's a little slant to it almost. Let's see. Let's do that. And then let's see, let's jump over to the eyebrow. So it's right around there. Again, you know, not much shading, just kind of showing where it is. And then the hair. So 
Okay, let's see this here. Go straight up. Okay, so let's come down to the hair. Okay, let's now let's clean up the face a little bit, right? So let's see, we're coming down. It's pretty straight, and then it's gonna curve in right around the mouth. And then if you look at the chin area, this size, this is almost uh, the height of the the lip, or slightly more. So. So we double the lip and then slightly more, which would bring us right around there. And again, you know, once you start drawing, you're gonna get more and more reference points and then that way you can just kind of cross check with everything and that way you can keep adjusting. So the hair, let's see right around there. Yeah, we'll move the paper a little bit, so come down. All right. So it's getting there. Um, all right, so let, let's just go with this. It looks like it's close enough, and yeah, let's start drawing the um, the features. Yeah. So now that we kind of roughed it out, now the now the real fun begins, right? So I'm using a 4B uh, pencil, which is pretty soft, and the reason I'm doing that is just because it's a little bit quicker to draw and shade. And since this is going to be like a quick sketch, I can't, this will allow me to shade a lot faster. So I always like to start with the eyes, uh, you know, just kind of start shading, you know, seeing some of the, the lines and we can try to bring out the shape of the eyeball. And just remember to kind of jump around a little bit. When you're sketching, you never stay in one spot for too long because you know the proportions and, and shading might be way off, and you end up spending a lot of time do, you know, working in an area and just end up having to correct it later. All right, now let's work on the other eye. So, you know, like the eyebrows, you know, you can see that um, there's some directional lines to it. You can kind of follow it sometimes. And it gives, uh, it brings out the curvature. And here's the other eye. So it's just a little dreamy. Let me look. Yeah. And again, this is, um, Something really hard to draw is, is female faces, especially pretty ones like this, because you know any kind of uh, distortion um, or just wrong uh, you know, proportions or, or whatnot, it really comes out and end up not looking very pretty because the face is very pretty. Well, at least this is because if you if you do like a male face, you know it's a lot rougher. There's a lot more. Um, give you know if you, you if you do something wrong you can just kind of shade it right make it make it harder or something and then it's, it still looks like a, a male but with female it's it's really touchy touchy all right so now we got the eye so let's jump back to the nose let's bring it out a little bit so again I'm using a 4b so it's very gonna be a lot of texturing as you can see here but which is fine because it's just a lot faster to shade all right let's move down to the lip I don't want to get don't want to get too caught up with the eyes all right so the lip is pretty red and again anything red if you try and black and white it's uh, it almost turn black like if you turn this color image into black and white I mean this lip would, would pretty much be pitch black now there's a lot of sh um, highlight areas on the lip like on the, on the lower lip and what you want to do is try to keep those because it really brings out you know the light to on the lip like really gives it gives it a nice shine right which is what, what you want so what you can do is um, sometimes you just just draw like little little bubbles like that and so that you know that those areas are going to be white 
and then that way you can just go around it. Or if you like, um, you can always, you know, make it all black and then um, just erase it out with an electric eraser, which I might have to do because I actually made it pretty dark. All right, and I might have overdid this one. And I can balance it out by making the top dark too. Might have went overboard. Well, let's see if we can correct it. Might be okay. Shading always underneath the lip. There's always a little pouch, pouch there if you look carefully. I probably made a lip a little bit too small, so let's make it a little bit wider. And good thing it's dark, that way I can just kind of shade it dark. Okay. So, um, just remember everything in drawing, you know, the the values that you put in is all relative. Um, like right now, everything looks okay, right? Um, you know, it's kind of in uh, in terms of values, it's kind of in between. Uh, like it's kind of dull. Not, not there's not a lot of contrast. So let's say I go back to the eye now. Now that um, I kind of shaded, you know, all around a little bit, and I start making this eye. and make this eye really dark, which it really is. And I'm just gonna do this just to show it as an example as to how important it is to work around the face and not just in one area too long. Especially if you're a beginner, uh, you know, you've been doing it for a while, then it, it probably still works for you, you know, no matter where you start, you're gonna get it right. I shade this, you can see, you know, with this eye being darker, you can see how, you know, the rest of the face start to look a little bit too white, right? And, you know, if you're going for hyperrealism, then it might be a little odd. But sometimes, if you're going for something more stylized, it's, especially for a woman's face, it's actually it's okay to um, just concentrate like on the eye and, and the lip and the nose. And you know, for the uh, the rest of the face, actually, just kind of leave it white. You know, it's kind of like one of those glamour photos, right? So for a woman's face, it still looks good. And sometimes, actually, preferred. Okay. And now I gotta. See now this is darker, now the hair needs to go darker. So that's what I mean, everything is really relative. And so that's the process, you know, I, um, as you keep going, then you just kind of have to balance out the rest of the face, right? Um, make sure that, you know, you don't have a dark eye and then everything else is just kind of way too light. So like with the nose, I'll probably darken it a little bit more. And for the nose, um, make sure to draw in the, uh, the reflective light. It's because it's a round object. It's kind of like a like a circle. You know, see see that little highlight underneath the nose. That's really important because that's gonna bring out the shape of the nose. All right. So here I uh, uh, progress on the drawing a little bit more. Just kind of did a lot more shading. Um, so in terms of shading with a 4B pencil, you just kind of be really light with it, really light with the hands, kind of like what I'm doing, just uh, almost like barely touching the surface of the paper. That way, you, you know, you won't make um, too hard of a mark. And there's a lot of different strokes that I talk about uh, on my other videos. But in general, you know, there's a lot of things you can do, kind of like what I'm doing right here. Is I'm just kind of like doing these kind of circle shapes. And if you do enough of it, they, they all just kind of fill in 
and everything looks a lot more even. You know, even though there's a lot of texture on, on the paper, that's that's fine. You know, that's just look at the paper, and so look at the drawing. So, um, in terms of this phase, it looks like I made the the nose a little bit too long. Uh, but just to recap, you know, the, what you want to do is that when you want when you see a face like this, try to find like some kind of geometric shape around it, like an envelope around it, and then start from there. And then once you have the little envelope, then start just blocking in some of the you know, where, where the features are. And then once you have that, start lining things up uh, with vertical lines. So like the eye here, you know, where it meets the nose and the eye meets the lip. So those are the ways that you can check, you know, uh, to see, you know, if, if there's some of the features you roughed in are correct. And then from there, you know, you just kind of keep, keep working on it. And the more reference point you have, you know, the, the easier it gets. And of course, if um, things are starting to mess up and you know you notice a lot of things is off and that's because you know some of your reference points are off. So then you can go back and just kind of you know nudge it a little bit and then fix fix things here and there. Um, but again, it's you know drawing female faces are really hard to do and especially freehand you know, to draw draw it accurate. So you know don't kill yourself over it over it and um, just kind of have fun with it and uh, you know it just it gets easier every time. So. So, uh, okay, so that's it for this video, and I uh, hope you enjoy this, and I will see you next time.